Chairman of Public's, uh, Parliament's Public Accounts Committee, James Kluja-Veji, says he will take a decision next week on whether to summon musician Shatawale over the alleged payment of 2 million Ghana cities to him by the state-owned Exim Bank. Kumbungu MP Ras Mubarak made the claim at Wednesday sitting that the amount has been paid to the musician for his services as brand ambassador. The Exim Bank deputy CEO, however, says they have no direct dealings with the musician and that they rather engage the services of a media consultancy firm to recruit brand ambassadors. James Aveji tells Shari News the committee is still waiting to get evidence from the Kumbungu MP before it can act. What we need to do as a committee is to establish first whether Shatawale has received any money at all. Two, where did he receive the money from? Is it from directly from the Ezim Bank or from the consultants who Ezim Bank claim they have engaged? Even the consultants paying it will still be Ezim Bank and for them at the state funds, which yeah. is why you still be. Yeah, so, so when Ezim Bank, when we confirm that, and then um, it's confirmed that Shatawale received the money from the consultants, we will then find out how the consultant was procured. Was the consultant procured through the, the, the correct processes? Then to also ask the Auditor General to determine whether the work that um, the consultant is procured to do merits the amount that he charged. So, whatever happened between the consultant and then the Shatawale will be on that level. Mm -hmm. But if it is confirmed that Shatawale actually received check from Ezim Bank, there is a different matter altogether. There's so a possibility it, it, of him being asked to come respond and possibly, uh, uh, exactly. and possibly refund some of those sums. Well, if it is determined that they, the way he did, as compared to the amount he received, it does not uh, merit it. Then he might be asked to refund. But for now, you don't want to establish. No, we, whether, we, 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 have, we haven't done that. Yeah, yeah, whether really the said amounts were paid to him. Yes. And, and if necessary, and you need to get him himself, you have himself to come clarify things. The committee no, will be asked. No, what I'm saying is that first of all, you need to establish that he received the money. The source from where he received the money. The way he did merit that money or he does not before the issue about he coming to respond will come soon. So when do you hope to finish with all of these works so that they I can't give timeline because some of the most of the work cannot be done directly by the committee because we don't do directly that. We ask the auditor general to do that work. Exim Bank has meanwhile confirmed it has engaged dancehall artist Shatawale and one other entertainer as brand ambassador's corporate affairs manager Richard Anani will not disclose the contract sum but indicated 15% has been advanced in fulfillment of the bank's contractual obligations. In an interview with Joy News, Ms. Anani, however, denied the contract is worth 2 million cities. Indeed, we have signed contract with the two artists who are renowned in their own field, but they have not even started their rules. But have you paid them anything? We, for the fact that it's a contractual agreement between two parties, even as we are a bank, we cannot disclose any content. But we yeah, signed but, an but, agreement okay, so them. Uh, there are two levels of this question. There's yes. a question about how much, that, and there's a question about have you paid? Have you paid anything? Evans. We have signed a contract with the two artists. Which has a cost element to it. Yes, but Evans, we have contract obligations. We cannot disclose the amount. But all that we want to state is that the amount quoted is not correct. Okay, so if it's not correct, then what is it? Evans, I can't disclose it because of contractual obligations. Okay, it's so not, it's not, it is not, it is not, uh, obligation to do that. Okay. So you, you, I can you, tell you that we have passed through the procurement procedures to to arrive at where we are. It is not true. Okay. So you can disclose the amount, but definitely you 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 it's it's, a, it's clear, isn't it? That yes, they they haven't even started the work, but they have you you there's an, at least an upfront payment of a sort. Even in terms of contract management. If you sign an agreement with a consultant or a service provider, there's a percentage that you have to uh, uh, advance. Okay, they have deliverables. 
that they will have to deliver before. And this is a one-year uh, con- uh, contract. So what, percent- started- what percentage of the of the total cost have you paid to Shatawale, for example? Um, I can't disclose that. because You, you can't not- tell me the amount. You can't also tell me what percentage? It, it's not right. Parliament's Public Accounts Committee has assured the graphic communications group debt owed by Parliament for newspapers supplied so the House will be paid soon. The debt for newspaper supply since May this year was disclosed by Managing Director of the Graphic Group, Ato Afo, when he appeared before the committee on Thursday. Chairman of PAC, James Aveji, assured the money will be paid. In May. Of this year, 2020. This was following an appeal to the speaker, the honourable, the right honourable speaker of parliament, when he visited us for anniversary lunch. Okay. So after that appeal, payment was made. So after that, no other payment. Have you made any follow-up again? And then, uh, what was the response from the? account session of parliament honorable chairman we've been following up and they've indicated to us that they would make payments in due course the national pensions regulatory authority also appeared before the committee responding to questions on what can be done to ensure pensioners live comfortably deputy minister for employment and labor relations bright recuperate urged individuals to take payment of tier three pension contributions seriously uh, people's ability to front up payment is, is, is always problematic. And pension payments are just in the form of taxes. They are like taxes. And so you need to go after the person, and the person would pay. In the case of pensions, it is the person's own benefit when he or she retires. That uh, one and two, the law has been so clear, and that you like it or not, it will be deducted. But the one that you voluntarily have to go and pay. So pension funds are a direct result of how much you earn. So the person looks at his income and says, I should go and pay this money whilst he sees pension in the next 20 years. He or she doesn't want to pay. So it's a national concern. And I think through this medium, we should be encouraging people to think about pension. It's not too far off. I was thinking of uh, something else. 35 years ago, it was not pensions. Now I'm getting closer. And you start thinking that you need to look at your future. So we have to let people know that it's a function of your salary and also your future.